What's up YouTube, Adam here, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing you my full review of this, the Thecus W4000 Plus NAS. Now, as you guys know, I use NAS devices all the time, but this one is very, very different from the norm. The reason for that, this one comes with Windows embedded. So this actually has the storage version of Windows Server 2012 Essentials, and what that means is that instead of having a device with a Nix proprietary based operating system this has got a full blown version of windows on it which gives you the ability to do a whole bunch of things that are different from your typical nas device now this one's got a whole bunch of features they do have a range of different models that are available this is the four bay version so this can take up to four drives now you can go bigger than this and have more drives or you can have less but this one has a whole bunch of features and specifications now you can see here a huge huge list of software features and that really comes down to the windows based operating system that we've got installed on it this one comes with four gigabytes of ddr3 ram and it's also got a dual core atom processor as well now amongst some of these features give you integration into the likes of office 365 and also the cloud with windows azure as well now in addition to this this one has a built-in embedded 60 gigabyte ssd drive which means that the operating system is already pre-installed on that and you're going to get extremely fast boot and response times now taking a look at the device itself an attractive unit mostly made out of metal with a plastic front and you can see here we can get access to the drives by just clicking open the door and then we can see the four drives in there now all of these drives can actually be locked into place with a key if you should decide and to get them out you just simply use the clip that's on the front of the drive itself and once you do that you can just simply pull the drive out and get access to the bay itself. Now you can buy these with or without hard drives pre-installed. Personally this one has not got hard drives installed on it so I have got the drives separately to this and the drives that I opted for are the Seagate NAS drives. Now I've used these quite a few times, extremely good for these type scenarios and if you want to you can put any kind of drive in there but I highly recommend the Seagate ones. Now I've opted for three 4 terabyte drives but you can have uh, obviously four drives in there should you want to and like I say you're going to have absolutely no problem with these particular ones. Very much designed for use in this kind of environment and very very reliable along with fantastic performance. Now once you've pulled the bay out of the device itself, it's a simple case of just putting in four screws into each drive to make sure that they are all secured into the bays and then you're ready to rock and roll. So once that's done, just simply grab the drive with the bay as well and just slide that straight back into your NAS device and clip it into place. And then should you want to, you can obviously also lock that door as well to keep that fully secure. Now once you've got all your drives installed and you've got the door closed, you are ready to plug this in. But before we do it, let's just take a look at some of the ports we've got on the back. Now we've obviously got power, we've got VGA, we've also got HDMI which is very very different for a NAS device because you can plug this directly into an HDMI screen or obviously a VGA screen as well. We've got USB 3, we've also got eSATA and we've also got two gigabit ethernet ports as well which can be aggregated for full speed. Now I've plugged this into a TV and you can see that you can actually boot it up and get direct access to the operating system itself. Once you've turned it on and booted and logged in, you can literally see a full blown desktop that you can use, the same as any other Windows machine. Now when you turn it on you get a whole bunch of lights that show you exactly what's going on with the device itself and once you've got everything installed they remain turned on and give you a good indication as to what is going on with your device. Now once you've got it all plugged in and connected you can enable remote desktop and then from any device you can just use any kind of remote desktop client and get full access to the Windows desktop that is installed on the Thecus W4000 and then you can just access it from wherever you are in the world over any connection with any device no problem whatsoever. 
Now some of the specs you can see here, this one actually comes installed with four gigabytes of RAM. You can see here we've got the ethernet connection and also the CPU as well. And like I say, the great thing about this box is that once you've got it there, you can just literally utilize it exactly the same as any other Windows PC. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up the RAID for this. You can obviously choose between any of the RAID types that you've got built into Windows itself. I'm going to go for a RAID 0, so that's striped. I'm going to add in my three 4 terabyte disks. Tell it to go ahead and format that, give it a name as well for that particular drive. You can obviously also select a drive letter, exactly the same as any other Windows device. Go ahead, click go, and that's going to go away. Create that RAID drive there with RAID 0 striped across all three of those disks. And you're obviously going to end up with a data container for the amount of data that you've created within that RAID set. Obviously, if you use something like a RAID 5, for example, you're going to lose a certain amount of data from the raw capacity within the resilience itself. But with striping on RAID 0, you'll get the combined total of all of the drives added together. So you should end up with a whole bunch of space. Now, once you've got that created, you can utilize Windows in the ways you typically would to give you some really great features. Things like shadow copies of your data and also deduplication and a whole bunch of other things that are built into Windows as standard. You can even go as far as to use DFS replication. And obviously, you've got all of the standard Windows things built directly into the operating system itself. This can do things like DHCP, DNS, Active Directory. You've got a full blown copy of Windows Server to really be able to completely facilitate most networks that are out there today, or indeed actually become part of most networks that are out there today. Some of the Windows features that you can utilize through the dashboard, uh, the ability to set up anywhere access, for example. So you can go in here, you can get the full ability to access everything remotely. Now, in addition to that, you've also got full access to the Windows App Store as well. So you can download and utilize applications uh, however you would like to. Now, obviously, the Windows App Store itself has got a huge amount of applications available to you. And it really is quite unique that you've got this huge expanse of applications at your fingertips. Because of how powerful Windows is and the amount of flexibility you've got, the amount of applications you've got available to it, there's a huge amount of ways in which you can cloudify, if you like, your actual NAS device. Now, the one that sort of comes bundled with it is called OrbWeb, and that gives you the ability to use it like a cloud device so you can get access to all of your documents you can get access to all of your pictures and videos and all of the different kinds of data you want to and you can also get access to your remote desktop as well so a fully flexible functional application now let's take a look at the all important performance of the Thekus W4000 Plus. Now as you can see here, we've got a huge file and I'm copying that over the network to another NAS device. And you can see we are literally utilizing the entire gigabit ethernet network with over 100 megabytes per second data transfer. Now this is exactly the same on the read and the write, so very, very fast data transfer indeed. Extremely fast access to that data and you're gonna have no problems whatsoever with the overall performance performance of the box. Now in addition to that, if we actually do a local copy of some data, I've got a huge amount of data here, and we copy it across, you can see that we're achieving even faster speeds again, right the way up to close to 200 megabytes per second on some occasions. So all in all, this is a really great box. If you've got a small office or a small business and you just wanna be able to have this little one-stop solution, this is really gonna be absolutely perfect for those requirements. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. See ya.